His statements being said about him basically shooting up her dad's barbershop. Uh, what is a liar? <laughs> the barbershop did get shot up, but it, it wasn't like, I don't want to talk much to it, but it wasn't like, he is over-exaggerated it because the same day the barbershop got shot up, it was, back, it was up and running. <laughs> so it couldn't have been like what he said it was. So we're going to hold that down. Shout out to Woody. <laughs> but niggas know. Okay, yeah, absolutely. His statement. That video speaking on Woody was the last video we would see of Rich Homie Quan. Now I know today he's gonna receive a lot of fake love. He's gonna be down everyone's timeline. He's gonna be on everybody's story on Instagram. And he's gonna be the main topic of discussion. But let's keep it a buck. A lot of y'all didn't really even fuck with Rich Homie Quan like that. Y'all may have fucked with a song or two, but don't get on social media acting like he was your favorite rapper. I hate that shit. A lot of you niggas and bitches should have gave him his flowers before he fuck around and expired. Now, one of the things that I don't play with is this or the dead. But let's go ahead and keep it a buck. He write it on Thug. And a lot of you motherfuckers act like y'all fuck with slime for real. So if you fuck with Thug, you definitely can't fuck with Rich Homie Quan. So if you one of the ones on your timeline saying rest in peace to Rich Homie, but yet you an advocate for Thug, I'm going to look at you weird. On the dead homies. But if you've been a Rich Homie fan since the beginning of time, whether he had a hit on the radio or not, and you've been supporting his music and the movement, man, today is a sad day for you for sure. So for the people who don't know, Rich Homie Quan did not get shot. They saying he died from an overdose. There have been a lot of rappers dying from overdoses nowadays. So for more dope content like this, please make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe.